that's at home watching uh this is gonna be the first episode of the late 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 show late 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 show yeah <laughs> three lates it's three lates also known as it came from the late 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 show or just the late show for short yeah but just type in yeah, but so you... the book that can be called the Late Show. Yeah, but short. then then everyone thinks of the Late Show like John Stewart. <laughs> True. Let's so. call L Free. That sounds hardcore. <laughs> but yeah, so power of three. for those who don't know, I will be okay. your director, so, aka your GM, and we have a friend of mine here who's actually going to be playing and helping us do the character sheets because this will be the first time we run this game. Or well, I run this game because all of the other times I've played as a character when Cory would run it. Hi, Cory. Hello. Hi, Cory. Top of the evening to everybody. I don't think... Hey, can you guys hear him? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to be over here to talk and record. Okay. You're trying to watch Iphone Lad, but we're going to try and record a show and do a show. Waiting patiently. Okay. Um, so everybody, uh, roll, roll for your first stat. Roll four dice and then put it on the stat that you want to have it on. Okay, 4d10. 4d10? Yep, 4d10. Okay. Oh, four, two, Ooh, crappy stats. Uh, uh, what, what oh, yeah. 26. What were the uh -huh. stats again? There are any characters? You know Build, mind, dexterity, the right, brains, yeah. looks, and fame just starts off at 10 because everybody's starting off as a beginning actor or actress. Yeah. And your survival points are uh, fame plus build, right? Yes. All right. Why did I just do my roll 20? Okay. I'm currently waiting for the book PDF to load up and the reader. I'm trying to do this on here so people at home can actually see what we're doing. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'm trying to get the book back up before I decide what stat I want my 13 roll on. Okay, so for the viewers at home, I rolled a 30, a 26, a 12, and a 13. And I'm going to apply my 30 to my brains, my 26 to my dexterity, 12 to looks, and 13 to build. That's my character. Didn't the book say you roll 4d10 for each stat? That's what he yes. Did. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, December Alford, she's got a build uh, 17. My browser crashed. Dexterity Ooh. 19. Brains 17. Looks 28. And uh, that's her four stats before fame. Yeah. Magics just needs the roll 20 uh, ro roller. I did. I'm getting the character sheet up so that I can see what the base stats are. Well, if so you look on here, you can see them. I know which one I want to put my rolls in. Okay. If you look on the game screen, you should be able to see a character sheet. Unless I didn't move you over, which would help. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> My browser crashed. Well, I just moved everyone over to where they should be. <laughs> yeah. When you get back in the game, you'll see the uh, you'll see the uh, example character sheet that's from the back of the book. Of course, we are uh, gangsters, so we made our own Excel version of this character sheet. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's awesome! Can you send me that, Phil? You said the Excel one. I uh, have it in my email. What with email. that screenshot? And then the fame. We don't vote for fame. It's just ten, right? Yeah, just ten because you know you're starting off. You're starting off after. And I thought you said there is an survivalist points. character sheet. That's your build plus your fame. That's what we're looking uh, at right now is the example character sheet. Uh, uh, Philip is filling theirs out. Yep. Is, this, is this a GM character you're I making? Don't uh, this would be a character that I'll use, but I'm not using her tonight. Oh, I'm okay. just doing this so people at home can see how it is. Yeah. Um, so, you... to get your survivalist points, it's your build, which is the BLD, plus what? Dexterity? Fame. Fame? Yep. Fame. Plus fame. Could you um, move me... Because so, I'm not looking at an example character sheet. What do you What do you see on your screen, young man? A uh, screenshot of some game in the top left. The text, what you want to do, bunch of random numbers. That's a character. That's, that's what the, we're all looking that's at. That's the character yeah. sheet. Scroll you, Scroll around and you will see like all the stats and stuff. And it's not all filled out yet. I he's filled don't. It out as I don't character. see. And then I just. Double SP. As far as the character sheet, I just see a bunch of random so numbers. That the the text, same build yours. plus oh, fame. Right. What you want to do in a game screenshot in the top left? I don't see that's, any that's of the labels or anything like that. Well, for right now, just write down your four major stats and put the number beside them. And then when you find it, you can put it in. Yep. And that's. Build, dexterity, brains, and looks. And just put them in whatever works best for your character. Like, if you want looks the best, put your best one on that one. And put your lowest one on whatever you care less about. Like, these are your main character stats. Yeah, but I don't actually see an example character sheet. That's it's what we're just looking at. a bunch of random at, numbers. The numbers are his uh, You don't see the... Skills. You don't see the skills right next to him? No. All so I like, see uh, is a bunch of random numbers that I assume are your stat rolls and the text build plus fame. What... Does everybody else see the, the sheet? Yeah. Or... I see it. I see it. Yeah. Uh, are you just looking at the chat room? By, uh, by, do you see where it says like the number 24 and there's like a 31, a 32, and a 34? Uh, yes. Well, next to the right, to the very right of the number twenty four, it should say build. To the right of dexterity, thirty one, it should say dexterity. No, see any it of that? doesn't. No, I, I don't see that. I think Weird. you're the only one, sir. Uh, well, until it kicks in, at least write down your stats the way that you want them on like a notepad or something or, like that. Or on the Excel. Oh, I think he's Excel. exiting and re-entering to try ah, it again. Okay. Refreshing. Yep. You could edit it on the Excel. That should work. And all that extra stuff so far is still not showing up. Why is there a random game screenshot in the top left? Because that's a studio image of what you're going to be in later on when we actually have a studio. I'm actually giving people character sheets now, so that way you can actually put your stats in there. And then when you give me a name, I'll just update the name and change it up. Oh, right. another useful stat just to write it down is the amount of damage you do if you hit somebody with your bare hands. And that's one-fifth of your build rounded up. So, uh, let's see. I do four points because my build is 17. What was that? One-fifth of your what? build score. I want... Yeah, so divided by like, five and then round up, actually. So one, two, yeah, three, five, four. Yeah. Where do I tell you so, which of my rows I want in which stats? Uh, if you go into your the I journal. Pen. Hmm? I've got, like, two Sharpies, but they're both, like, super thick Sharpies. Well, why don't you just borrow a pen from here? Because I didn't see it behind your bowl of whatever that is. A uh, bowl of uh, old macaroni and cheese that's gone. 
that he should probably put in the sink. Okay, so I um, have a damage of four, base of four when I smack him. So what was it? One slap. Fifth. Oh, one fifth. fifth? Base one fifth five. rounded up three. Now here's a question. Um, rounded up three. No, yeah. just rounded up after you divide it. Excuse me. Uh, so, Corey, why did you interrupt him? Interrupt who? Who did I interrupt? Philip. Why did he interrupt me? I asked him where do I give him the numbers. Oh, it of must have. Which rolls I want for which stat? It must have just lagged. You might just be experiencing no, a lag. No, it did lag. You were in the middle of it, and then somebody I said it was in your journal. started talking to you. Well, I said it was in your journal. Then we had us oh, talking. Oh, your journal. And then, yeah. Corey, we talked about uh, the damage. I asked Corey about the damage. <laughs> okay, so in our journal, um, under uh, attributes and abilities... Now here's a question. Um, I didn't see anything in the book about like rolling low, or is there like any rule like that where like in um, like in other games, if you ha if you roll a low number, can you re-roll or something? Not usually. Usually, it's just if you make the roll, but if if it's a critical success, then you know really good stuff happens. If it's a critical failure, then really bad. Oh no, happens. I mean I mean when you're picking like your attributes, you know your build, brains, decks, and all that. Oh. Oh no! I mean, if you get if, if, unless you get all ones, I wouldn't. I would say, you know, <laughs> uh, if you get all ones, roll with it. I mean, play it out. You know, <laughs> put, put it on your IQ and walk into walls. That'd be awesome. <laughs> people would just people would just give you fake points for feeling bad for you. We felt bad for that guy. <laughs> Didn't he play the retard in that movie? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Simple oh, my God. I'd, I'd like to suggest. Uh, who was it that was editing? Who was it that made the Excel spreadsheet? Was that you, Andy? Yes, it was. Okay, uh, you may you may want to just add like under stunt double. You may want to add that bare hand damage thing that uh, Corey was just talking about. But it's under unarmed, which is right next to the dexterity. Oh, is it? You need to wait. Yes. Oh, there. Well, Actually, oh, I thought that's where that you put in the skill. Wait a minute. Um. Philip, sure yep. how that works. Thirteen seems kind of like a low roll. Is it okay if I re-roll it? No, it is not. It should not be. Where'd you get a? I'm trying to see where you got I a thirteen. I rolled a fourteen. <laughs> Somebody rolled yeah, a twelve. I got a twelve on here. Don't, don't, yeah, don't trust me. Don't worry about, 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 about it. it. I just lucked out and got really good rolls. Ask anyone here that's played with me before, like Prones knows already. Yeah. <laughs> I usually roll really, really, really low. So me being a DM makes you have a better chance of winning the game, because I usually roll ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and all my stats are below 20, which is below average, except for looks, because I put my 28 on looks. Nice. Haha, <laughs> I beat your character, but I'm not in this role. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My character is real smart and real dexterous, but very oh. weak and not very pretty. <laughs> Maybe I could put oh, the character in this. the example character sheet loaded. There you go, lads. Nope, it's loaded finally. Yeah, it must have been a really big file size. It, it is. Um, everything that I have in this game is from two to seven megabytes. Ooh. Ooh, I can load that in a second. Uh, the reason why they won't allow you to do anything bigger than ten megabytes on Roll Twenty, and that is a really big image if it's like that. <laughs> like this image put on here isn't even stretched. I threw that on there, and that's the size of that image. Damn. My stunt devil is named Maxwell Gobbleneck. Oh, we get to name him? Why yep. not? <laughs> Dude, you get to give your stunt devil a whole personality. My stunt devil is going to be an asshole. <laughs> he carries my stuff. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my uh, stunt double a very... See, my, my character is going to be Asian, and so I'm going to give my stunt double a very Caucasian-sounding name, like, like Lars, Emily Williams. Lars <laughs> Ingold. <laughs> I just uh, like, took away... Dottel Williams, Jackson. <laughs> I just took away uh, small avatars, so that way players at home can see the whole screen. But I should probably close out this and this, so that way people can actually see it better. 
And All right, then... so my stunt double is going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger's love child. <laughs> uh, my stunt double is Don Will Bergenstein. So, illegitimate child, it has Fitz in front of it. Fitz Schwarzenegger. Is that what his name is? <laughs> All right. So we've spent about 15 minutes on it, so let's get moving to the next one because we're about Does what, everybody halfway done. Does everybody basic character stats? you got to do skills. I know. It's the talents. Yeah, oh, skills. Yeah. Um, you pick skills where all the blanks are. Do you see where there's actual blanks? Like, for example, like combat talents. Like, over here, I'm going to say, like, um, let's see. Taser. So my character has a taser as a combat four, talent. Four, two, eight. Four, Do you know what I mean? He's like got you... a taser. And a taser would be using uh, dexterity from, I think it's book two that had the taser. Uh, That's the not a knife. Pulls out machete. Now this is a knife. I actually <laughs> this cheated. is a knife. This is a knife. Actually, Cheated myself on the dice, so I just rolled one more for each of them. Uh, so uh, a quick way to do to do um, to do the skills is if you pick five skills, then roll four dice for each one, and then add that to the ability that they go to. Like acrobatics would be your dexterity. Yeah. So like so when they say five. talents, roll twenty uh, twenty one uh, d ten for talents to start. And then you just put them along the talents that you want. After each moving actor, get an additional the basic abilities. For instance, uh, December Alford, she has stealth, fashion, bluffing, and driving. So you combined them all. I just divided it by five, and I rolled five dice for each one, and then add the I mean, No, but I'm saying you combine, like, the D20s. I mean, the D10s. No, you divide the 20. I had four skills, so I, I rolled five dice for each one. Okay. I see what you oh, did. Oh, kind of like a quick way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he did oh. it the quick way. So if you get like five skills, you get four dice per. You know, or you could have one skill and put all 20 dice into it and just be really good at one. So like, for example, I'm going to pick five skills, so I'm going to be rolling four D20. Um, yeah, four D20. Ten. Four, yeah. Four D10 per uh, skill. And then what's, like, what's your first skill you want to do? So I got a 13, so I'm going to be putting a 13 just up here, so that way I know that's what I got. You should pick the skill first, Phil, and then roll for it. Oh, and just do it that way? Yeah, because you, you really... I would have mixed them up and put, like, the best ones in the skill, you know? Um, um Philip? Yep? The classic Batman cartoon, the episode where uh, spiritual martial arts oh, and the yes. bad guy wants to get it? That if you know how and know the right spot is instant death. Mm -hmm. With that martial arts, not necessarily that move from that martial so arts, she... but would that martial arts be allowed? Yeah, I would say chi would be allowed. I'm saying here, like, seduction's not in there. So... Well, then just go by whatever you think would go by. Looks or fame, probably. Martial arts is in that un that's under unarmed combat, isn't it? That would be build or... Or dexterity. Well, no, can always... it's a, it works on the body spiritual energy. So it's not ordinary unarmed combat. So these yeah. characters going to have superpowers, Phil? Um, <laughs> not in Scooby-Doo. And no, not in... Uh, you can't really have superpowers with your characters. They're actors. I mean, your character can have superpowers uh, like in a movie like Dragon Ball Z. But, but not your actors. Right. Um, sorry to interrupt, but can you run back? Uh, we rolled forty ten. Uh, what's the what's the shortcut to getting our stats again? Uh, well, what's like? Um, basically, what you have to do is you have to divide, You have to roll twenty uh, d ten, and okay. then to put those in whatever skills you want. So a good way to do it is like say you want to have five skills, then you right. would roll. 4D10 four four per, per skill. <clears throat> so if you wanted acrobatics, that would be your dexterity plus oh, what you rolled on the four dice. I'm an together. idiot. Acting. Seduction. I thought, um... <coughs> I thought... Hold 
Oh, wait a minute. So, like, um, how many talents do you get to pick again? Uh, you get to pick as many as you want. You could have 20, but they'd only get one dice each. Exactly. Okay, I've got my chain martial arts thing made out. I'm not going to do the whole instant death move, just the ability to paralyze the extremities. Wow, I just rolled a 27. On my on my final one, and I don't really want to put that in on, on combat. Oh, damn it! Wait, what's your build? Four talents. Uh, uh, the build is mostly dexterity. No, your build. What is your build score? Twenty-four. Yeah. And what'd you roll? Twenty-nine. Uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Oh, that's not bad. Fifty-one. Um, what attributes? I mean, do you have the ability to edit other people's? Character sheets? I don't think so. No. Uh, I do, but Philip. nobody else will. Philip, I have a question. I know. I was asking Philip. Um, I okay. am Philip. Yes, that is Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, I have a question for you, sir. <laughs> um, could you edit my. I mean, okay. could you edit my chain martial arts so that the macro has a reasonable. I mean, basically, so that I can do the macro instead of having to manually. Uh, it's do the math. pretty basic. Um, I still but need to know what. You dice. aren't going to be able to use chi. Martial arts doesn't. Martial arts, you focus chi in real life, but you don't get energy coming out of you to paralyze people. It's just unarmed combat. Yeah, just put it. Put the stat in unarmed combat if you're going to do that. Like martial arts. Philip. Do you know what I mean? Philip. Yeah, what's up? Uh, can I use a chessboard as a combat talent? A chessboard? Yes. <laughs> that is my fighting style. As in, like, you hit someone with a board of a chessboard? I challenge them to chess. <laughs> uh, that's, not, that's not really a combat talent, but you could. It, it, it would work on death. It, you could do it on other talents, though. See, my encounter death. This is, uh, Scooby Doo. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so, I know I probably sound like an idiot, but okay, um, I went for the skill list. I picked about 13 of them I like. How do okay. you figure out, like, what your skills, what your points would be? Well, you would take the 20 dice and right. divide 13 into them if you want. No, 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 no. You, 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 you got you, you can't divide dice. Well, you could put like one dice on thirteen of them, I mean. and then have seven left over to put on to, to put add on to either of them to add to which ones you yeah. want to be higher. Wait, wait, I'm a little, I'm still, I'm still confused. Okay. Run this by me real slow, like I'm an idiot. Please. So, <laughs> if you wanted to have one skill and one skill only, you could put all twenty on that one skill. If you wanted to have two skills, you could put ten dice on each of them, or you could put like. 18 on one of them and two on, on, on one of them. You, know, you just divide them up. Okay. So 13 Okay, so is... if I had, uh, so let's say I had, like, uh, 13 skills. So I would roll, like, uh, 13d10 to get different points to add to them. But it would only then... be 1 to 10 points plus what your, like, if your build is 15 and you yeah. roll a 5, you'd have a 20% chance of doing it. Um, how many... Skills does my actor start off with? That's up to you. Yep. The, okay, the more so, skills you have, the less um, the less good you will be at them. Right. Hey, um, How many so dice do I get to roll to add to my skills? For your talents, it would be you get to roll twenty d tens. Okay. So, so the ones. Uh, so if you had leftover dice, let's say you had like, uh, so you had ten skills or whatever, then you'd have 10 dice left over, and you can add those scores to... Yes, to the skills you already okay. have. Right. And then any time you uh, finish a movie, um, yeah. you actually get 10 more D10s for your talents. Sweet. Is it 10 yeah. more? Yeah. Wow. I know, they boost you pretty quickly in this game. Uh, can I have a uh, card throwing as a combat I talent? Card throwing <laughs> is a combat talent? That would be just throwing. 
don't want to throw. You want to give him specials? You get throwing cards, and you get like a plus ten on when he does cards, but a minus twenty if he throws anything else. No. Sure. Okay. Uh, right, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna skill, keep this nice uh, and simple. <laughs> I'm gonna add the skill seduction. <laughs> Put that in your looks. <laughs> See, you don't have to use seduction as a skill. I thought about it, and I was like, you uh, could use acting as seduction. If anyone okay, seduces my character, she's gonna send in her stuntman to take it for the team. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Stunt man, not so, stunt woman. So. Exactly. Max Max has done this before. He's good at it. Okay. When you add a dice value to a talent, do you also add your uh, attribute, your ability, like dexterity, tits and everything? Chloe, do you do that? What? When you add a skill to your talent, do you add in the dex... Well, like, which skill? Like... Acrobats. So like acrobatics would be look. Acting would be looks, for example. So you would you, would you add the nineteen to the thirty five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your basic your base level with that skill would be fifty four. Okay. Nineteen plus thirty five is fifty four. So you have a fifty four percent chance of succeeding. So do I want to put the fifty four by acting in? Yes, yes, because you don't have to add thirty five. Yeah, that's time true. You look at it. Okay. Okay. So then that's a twenty three for fame for bluffing. Exactly. And then 35 plus 27. I thought he said 20 D10. Yeah, yeah, he said, but yeah. like, I rolled a 13 just now because I have 13 main skills and then 7 uh, leftover dice that I'm going to add to my 13 main skills. There we go. So for people at home, what you just noticed was instead of putting in the dice that you roll after you do that, make sure to add it with whatever skill it uses, like looks, for example, because then it makes it a lot easier for you than having to add everything constantly during the game. Because if you roll to use acting, you'll be rolling... Um, is you know, the attribute a bonus... Is what a bonus? The attribute for your abilities, the associated attribute. Um, an example, acrobats has uh uses dexterity. If I put a point in acrobats, like one, if I rolled a one on a d10, then I would take my 32 and my 31 in dex and add one, and I would actually have a 32 in acrobatics. So I'd actually be able to use acrobats at a 32. So basically, 32% chance of actually getting, the, you know, the talent to work. The easiest way to explain it is the higher your number is, uh, the more chance you have to roll under it, which means you actually get to perform the talent. So could you explain the leadership talent? It's like this, it's like people follow me or what, or listen to me. I missed what you said. How, how would I use that leadership talent? So leadership, you're gonna be trying to motivate your team, okay. or trying to make you know lead them into like or getting non-player characters to follow you. Yeah. Like everyone, get your torches and go to the castle. And they're all gonna be sitting there and being like, yeah, why the hell would I do that? And you roll, say, say your, lead, your leadership is a 54, and you roll a 32, then you would, they would be sitting there, they'd be like, oh, well, he brings up some valid points. Yeah, he's very attractive. Maybe we should follow him. And the werewolves have been eating the babies. Yeah, the werewolves have. <laughs> I feel like there are ways to abuse this power, like, oh, hey, everybody, let's do a mass suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Cult followings? Anyone? Yeah. Remember, though, that the evil bad guys also have fame, and if they make a successful fame roll, they can, like, walk off set until the scene gets rewritten to make sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's, that's how fame works. It's like, I'm a... Yeah, so, so Dracula has a lot of fame, so you can't be like, well, I'm filling a su super soaker full of holy water, because Dracula will go, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Dracula doesn't do that. <laughs> Fuck Dracula, I'm Donkey Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, it's basically improv movies. So it's like, you know, you ha they have a script to follow, but all of these B-rate movies, you know that half the time people go off script. And usually it winds up to be really good for the movie, like uh, Darkness Rising, or really bad for the movie, like um, Turtles in Time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I what to do with this character. If you could take a look my sheet. <laughs> my, my uncle's draw, drawing NPC characters. I don't know what to do with this character and his lovely wife. It's like a Cyclops character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we finished up the skills. Um, Just stay when everyone is set. Not me yet. Okay. You should, you should take a look at Andy. Tell me what you think. I will take a look now. I really would like to know how you do tables in this game, in uh, edits, because that's awesome. Oh, it's easy, dude. I'll show you sometime. No, I'm talking in this. In uh, Roll20, he put a table in. Oh, they have tables now. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so um, on our, in, under the journal, we're just adding skills under abilities, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks like, uh... Um... This looks a little cumbersome, wow. Wow, ah, that's pretty good. I like that. Under, uh... So, under your... Under journal, under edit, like... Abilities, and you add them, is there... Easy... Is there a quicker way to do this? <laughs> um... i do what? You should um, on attributes instead. Yeah, That's use the Call of Cthulhu system for it. But, uh... Bill wants to do this, like, straight as the, uh, rules for the system. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so I'll just add I'll just add my skills as attributes. So, like, my first few attributes on the list are, like, build bronze brains, uh, etc. And then I'll just add all the skills I invested in. Just make it easy. When we're doing that, I'm going to quickly, when people are getting that stuff settled, I'm putting in my character stuff. Yeah, this is part of the reason I was saying that we're recording this one separate before we do the game. So that way, people don't have, like, sitting there f waiting for the characters to be built. Yeah, that's a smart move. stats all up on roll 20. Maybe give it a look. I'll take a look in a second. I'm just putting the character traits in from mine because I realized we have one, two, three, four, five for Quarry, so this character actually gets to be in it for the extra character. Which means I get to have this character at least level up a bit with the play other players.
I can tell right away this is going to be an interesting system. I think my character, because I spread out my skills so much, probably going to end up being, like, a little weak at first. Mm -hmm. But then has potential. And who asked me to check? Was it Blood Moon? Uh, Andy, I think. Andy? What did I ask you to check, sir? Yeah, Andy, I already said, looked yeah. really good. Okay, I'm yeah. almost done with mine. Oh, I see what you did with that. You listed your skills underneath the uh, abilities, like inside of them. And then you'll just roll it when you're gonna use that skill. Yes, sir. Okay. And does anyone have names for their actors yet? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I do. Already. Narikawa. Hang on, everyone. Go one at a time and say who it is before uh, you say the name. And we lost someone. Uh oh. I heard a, a sound drop. Yeah, I heard the Skype sound drop. We lost, it looks like Max. Uh oh. Max? I... Oh, Magics? Magics. I popped it up quickly to take a look. I'm gonna have no, to blur this you didn't out when I edit. Me. Oh, that's where we heard the Skype lo noise. Who did we lose? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I don't know if that was going on there. It was me. Oh, that, was that you? One, two, three, yeah. four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I'm in a blizzard right now, so. Oh, don't worry about it. I live in New England. We just had a hell of a storm. Yes, we did. I, I, I took a look at my window. I can't see my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't? Heads up. There's gonna be some whiteout sections. Because it's like there's like 20 feet of snow out there. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but. Okay, so let's go through the list on who has names. Andy, do you have a name? Yeah, it's Andrew Moody. <laughs> For your actor? Okay. Yep. I've got my actor's this character like sheet done. Alright, uh, Blood Moon, what do you have for a character name? Donkey Dixon. What was it? Donkey Dixon. Like uh, Kong. Oh, Donkey. Yeah. Like Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Love Donkey Stage Kong. Stage name. Actually, I think it's Donkey as in the animal. Oh, what you guys that? wrote your names in there. Nice. <laughs> I just ran over to... uh. Yeah, I just went over to yours, uh, Magix, and I was like, oh, look, the name's there. Yeah, I don't have mine in yet. Mine's gonna be uh, Noriko Narikawa. I see it. Horribly <laughs> dubbed Asian scientist. Yeah. Now, um, would, while you're there, would you mind looking at my uh my so, skills? Am I guessing that your stunt double is the one that's doing your voice? Since um, you're dubbed. <laughs> I'm thinking either that or like a horribly broken Asian accent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Or maybe both at once. Who knows? Like, like a so, like a Caucasian name? person pretending. All oh, the names. Yeah. Uh, we've got Andrew Moody. Is that the name of the character? Yeah. And which, which person are they playing? Uh, we have we haven't done the casting yet. Oh, okay. Uh, then we've got Destro. We'll just say the first names. So Andrew Destro. Donkey. <laughs> Noriko. <laughs> And then your character's name? December. December. And then Amelia. Which is a pen name. She just goes by Amelia. Now, Philip, uh, when you get a chance, if you wouldn't mind looking at my uh, attributes and abilities, I put a bunch of skills there, you know. Just see how it is. This character's probably going to end up being real underpowered at first until. Like, what do you say we so get? We get 10 dice. My after guess every... is from what this looks like your pistol, you rolled a 15, and then together it's a 41 at the end. Yeah, yeah, see, uh... Okay. Yeah, see, my, my dexterity is 26, and then I had the 15 for pistol. Yeah. No, I get what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. So for anyone at home looking at this, uh, this side is on the right that I'm highlighting. This is where his actual skills are. This is just one way players can actually do this if they want. Uh, he would be rolling if he wanted to shoot his pistol, uh, 
the forty, the plus forty one on top of the dice. Yeah, I'd be trying to get under. Oh, I mean forty one or less. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Well, no, I, really I, like, I uh, mix up systems sometimes. It happens. It's okay. Yeah. It, it seems to me it's a good idea to differentiate between um, how many points you have from dice in there and your combined total. Well, a perfect example is whatever you roll on a. It's a d100 you roll, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, you roll two so, d10 as a percentile thing. Yeah, it's a percentile roll. Yeah. You roll two d ten, but one of them's one. One of them is um the ten slot. One of them's the singles. Yes. So like, an example is when you look at your character sheet. If I can find it again, which was I believe, not donkey. It was not. It was on Noriko, Noriko. right? So if you look at Noriko, you would have to roll on a d one hundred set, which is two d ten. Under a forty, a forty-seven or under. If you rolled an eight or like lower than an eight, it would be a critical success. No, on a forty-seven, it's a ten or less. It's a ten or less, isn't and it? It's one fifth. Like. Yeah, it's one fifth of it. So one fifth of what your skill would be the actual critical. And the reverse for critical failures. Right. So ninety-one or higher, you totally screw up. Yeah. And if ninety-one you or roll... higher, you may accidentally shoot the cook. Yeah, you might shoot, you know, shoot the ceiling or the person next to you. <laughs> and if you roll a uh, natural. 1-1 one, one, or a natural 10-10. Uh, oh, ten, ten. Oh, That's Those are both critical failures. Well, no, 0-1, oh, yeah, no one would be, like, the best you could get. Yeah. Uh, and a uh, zero, 0 is 100. That's, like, total critical critical failure. Yeah, that's there's no way you can not critical fail that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we do any props or wood roll? Or isn't that given at the movies? Um, it's, on that, it's on the page at the beginning, like, based on your fame, what you can have for starting props. Right. Which is not a lot with starting fame. So you have the choice if you want to buy props or wood roll, but not. Um, for this campaign, we're not going to worry too much about it. Everybody's assigned clothing, I'm assuming. Because in most movies, you get assigned clothing and assigned props. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to give you props okay. right off the bat for, like, yeah, whatever you get casted in. But uh, does everybody Sounds have, good. like, what they look like, what their goal is, and a basic description of their person? December Al Alford always wears the latest fashion to the best of her ability to, to afford it. Her goal in life is to win an Oscar, and she is a ruthless um, princess in the P-type. <laughs> so what he's talking about is this section for anyone at home that's looking. So like... There we go. Props table. I should probably change what's your whatever to Amelia, because that's the character's name. But yeah, so... You would want to put in your character's height. You don't really roll for it. You choose it. Then you'd want to actually put in the weight. Go through like everything. How they look. Their type of dress. Um, their motivation and their personality. So weight. Weight, weight, don't tell me. Okay, I got some of that stuff up on my journal now. Yep. <clears throat> Type of dress. Uh... Yeah, you can tell sometimes you. I hit the mouse and it messes it up. Oh, you're reading it when I type it? Oh, you're laughing at something you wrote. <laughs> laughing at something I wrote and something uh, you wrote. Yeah. Both. Okay, this is going way too late. For you? Yeah. Well, we'll finish up your character and then um, we'll record the session so you can watch it tomorrow. It's not like we're not going to do another session. Do you want me to stay on? Uh, for what? Yeah, you have to go. 
it's it's your call. If you need to go, then go. Like if like if you have work tomorrow morning, don't stick around for the game. We all understand how real life is, you know. I'm just tired with how late it is. It's all. Yeah. Fair enough, man. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Fair enough, dude. Yeah, fair enough. Good night. <laughs> good night, man. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Ciao. So it's good we built this, we built the extra character for the five main if we didn't get a six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, motivational. Uh, I'm going to mute my microphone real quick so I can go right. drink. I'll be back. <laughs> I just did a short bile. I'm gonna go drain the lizard. I'll be back. Okay. I just finished mine. <laughs> Okay. So who's here still? Cause um, I know everyone's kind of going off to like go use the restroom and stuff before we start. No, dude, I'm good. Andy's always good. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. What? Yeah, man. Welcome back. Oh, you guys are too too sweet. So if anyone at home that's watching. You would actually see me kind of straighten this up slightly so it looks right. But that is how you would want your character sheet to look if you printed it out. So let me zoom out to a 50% so you can see the whole thing. And that is the basics of it. Filling in the actual information on top is just not really dice rolling, it's just you choosing it. Echo? I'm back. Why is there an echo? I don't know. Who's Echo? Uh... Echo? 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 Hey, phone. Hey, phone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. That's hilarious. Oh, oh no, Echo. <laughs> you fixed it. <laughs> but yeah, no, um... So... Pretty much, the very top, for anyone at home, this is what you choose. This is how your character will act, how your character, why your character wants to be an actor or actress, and just their physical description. The basic attributes we've already shown you. It's rolling the 4d10 for the main four stats, which is build, dexterity, brains, and looks, which are the highlighted ones. If you're starting a brand new game, most games will start off your character at the lowest fame points because of being new which will be fame point of 10, which basically gives you almost no spending money. You can't really get anything. As you notice, there's an equation. Your build and your fame is what is combined is what your survival points are. And your stunt double points are the same as your survival points. Your talents would be rolling 20 D10s and basically putting the numbers into the talents that you want. If you don't put any in combat talents, good luck. You're probably not going to be able to fight. So, this character, clearly, as you notice, uh, the character that I built for me to use, Amelia, she has no combat. 
So, her main objective is running. Like most Scooby characters should do. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sure, um, sorry to interrupt, but I'm pretty sure you do get unarmed combat no matter what. It's that one-fifth formula. Oh, it is. It's... No, it's your, no, it's your it's, stat um, without, without anything added. So, build. So, like, you know how the build's 24? I have to roll under a 24 to be hit successful somebody. in unarmed combat. And then I'll do five damage to them if I hit them. Oh, okay. Uh, the damage for the build is one-fifth of your build damage. And that's what you would do with unarmed combat for damage. For weapons, there's actual stats inside the book, which is why there's going to be a PDF that you can actually find. Since the company is out of business, doesn't exist anymore, obsolete, and dead. <laughs> uh, it was an awesome company, but they stopped producing games back in the early 90s, and all their books are out of print and are very rare to find. Rest you in can't peace, miss you. You can't even buy this book off Amazon. It literally, the only way to get this book online was for me to scan it in. Because... <laughs> Unlike the other Stella games, like uh, Ghostbusters, that has like the PDF floating around everywhere, this game just didn't exist online. <laughs> There'd be hints to it. They mentioned it in one YouTube video, and that was it. <laughs> there, there wasn't any play or footage of play, so... This, will this be a is the legacy of this game. Bring it back! Well, okay. I'll to play. Bill, I have to get going. You have to get going, Coy? All right. Well, good luck. Thanks for helping us out with the camera and stuff. And the keyboard. Ow. <laughs> yeah. We have to start a petition. A petition to get uh, a second edition of this game so we can call it L Free 2 e <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's take like a five-minute break because I have to go lock up the house and everything. And then All right. we'll stop the game up. All right. So See we'll, you in the next video. Yep, we'll catch everyone in the next video, which is the actual TV show. Bye!